Archery Deer Hunting for Beginners is brought to you by Rack Stacker Big Game Attractants, Fast Track Performance, Kent Cartridge, Vortex Optics, Mossberg Firearms, Bullseye London, and the Nook Professional Cases. Hi everybody and welcome, it's Carlin and Ian from the Real Outdoor Experience and another exciting series we have for you here. This is all about hunting whitetail deer. Something that we both truly, truly love. Something that we've done for a very, very long time. And something that we wanted to put together for everybody out there that wants to start hunting deer and really has no idea where to start. So right after this, we'll get to it. Thanks for staying with us. Thanks and welcome back. Hey, you know what, if you want to start deer hunting, the first thing you've got to be able to do is obviously find a property that you've got permission to hunt that's going to hold deer. You can spend an awful lot of time in the woods if there's, <laughs> if there's no deer on the property you're hunting. It is a bit of a waste. So if you're seeing deer in fields in March and April, there are going to be deer there come the fall. One of the things we touched on in our turkey series was gaining the permission of the landowner. We don't want to go on anybody's property without the proper permission. Bottom line is find out who owns the property that, that you want to hunt and go and knock on the door. Make sure you're allowed to hunt the property that you're, that you're going to hunt on. So get permission, <laughs> get it. So once you've got your property and it's, you've, you've got permission from the landowner, you're allowed to hunt it. When is the best time for scouting to start? For me, it's all year round. The landowners predominantly are looking for people to control the animal populations that are destroying the crops. Excellent point. Turkeys and deer, if there are a lot of them on the property, farmers are really happy for you to call some of that, uh, that population because they really are devastating to, uh, to the crops that, uh, that are their livelihoods. Um, the farmer is probably going to be a, a really good source is to say, oh, you know, I always see them over in this corner or I see them down here all the time. That's exactly where you'd start. I like scouting in the late season while there's still snow on the ground and you can see where the, uh, the traction runways really are. They're not going to be using those same pathways in the, uh, in the early season of October and sort of mid-November, but come late December, they're going to be using those same pathways again. It's such a great time of year to be able to see when they're using, like where are deer going to be when there's snow on the ground. And you, you can learn that in February, March, even if you've never hunted that property before. Some of my favorite time in the bush is spent scouting. And it could simply just be taking your kids out, snowshoeing for the day, and you know, they don't have to know you're scouting for the next season's deer hunt. You're out snowshoeing. Great activity, but you're looking for rubs, you're looking for trails. You know, oftentimes we find bedding areas. There's all kinds of sign in the bush. All you have to do is look for it. Talking to the landowner, finding out what they're seeing, but then Google Earth, being able to see pinch points, natural valleys, those are you know very natural corridors that deer are gonna wander. And when you, you see that on your phone or you see that you know, on your computer at home, from then being able to actually go to that spot in the woods and, and look around, you know, are there scrapes from last year? Are there you know, rubs in the trees? Um, are you seeing game trails? And if you're seeing game trails and it looks like there is fresh sign, you know, the scat or tracks, that's where you're going to want to put your trail cameras up. A lot of good information here, Ian, and we have more episodes to go. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the introduction to the deer series, and we hope this has been informative. One of the things that I just wanted to mention before we move on to the next episode is we are real guys. We have real jobs, we have real families, and we are really busy. And this series is meant to help people like you and us get out there and enjoy the outdoors. So we know your time is valuable. We want to make this series as efficient as possible and uh, give you as much information as possible so that you can get out and be successful too. Thanks everybody. And from Carl and Ian and the Real Outdoor Experience, keep it real. Thanks for tuning in. Take care for now. <laughs> <laughs>